For decades, the wings of Boeing and Airbus have cast long shadows across the world's skies. But now from the frozen lands of Siberia, a formidable rival has emerged, the MC-21. This plane is no ordinary rival. It is a cunning rival ready to rewrite the rules, a silent revolutionary with ambition challenging the West, especially the mighty Boeing 737. Is this recklessness or genius? Why did Russia choose this path to dominance? How will the aviation industry be reshaped? Let's find out. Russia's MC-21 project was conceived as both a technological leap forward and a political statement, as well as an attempt to regain independence in the aerospace industry after decades of dependence on outdated Soviet-era passenger planes, such as the Tupolev Tu-154 and Tu-204. Determined to modernize its commercial aviation industry, Russia launched the program in 2007 under the direction of the Yakovlev Design Bureau, now part of the United Aircraft Corporation, or UAC. The goal was clear to create a next-generation narrow-body jetliner capable of competing directly with the Boeing 737, one of the world's best-selling aircraft. From the start, the MC-21, passenger aircraft of the 21st century, represented Russia's ambition to combine innovation with national pride. The aircraft's design featured lightweight composite wings for superior aerodynamics, advanced avionics, and a spacious cabin that promised greater comfort and fuel efficiency. Two engine options were developed Pratt & Whitney's PW1400G, designed to enhance international competitiveness, and Russia's PD-14, the first fully indigenous turbofan in decades. However, this dream was met with harsh geopolitical realities, Western sanctions in 2018 dealt a blow to the core of the program, cutting off the supply of vital imported composite materials for the MC-21's advanced wing structure. An industrial overhaul followed. Russian engineers launched a comprehensive import substitution campaign, building a completely new domestic supply chain for composite materials, avionics, and propulsion. This strategic shift is aimed at significantly reducing Russia's dependence on imported components by accelerating the development and integration of domestically produced systems, including the PD-14 engine avionics and cabin equipment. Test flights for the MC-21, a fully import substituting aircraft, are scheduled to begin in mid-2025, marking a major milestone toward self-sufficiency. However, the transition to almost 100% domestic components is not without its challenges. The Russified MC-21-310 is said to be heavier than originally planned, affecting its range and performance. While a number of technical solutions, including weight reduction measures, are being implemented, production delays and cost increases remain persistent problems. Furthermore, some of the new Russian components that have entered service have not yet been internationally certified, raising concerns about safety and flight reliability in the wider market. Russia's aerospace industry faces additional hurdles due to the prioritization of resources for military needs and infrastructure constraints. Manufacturers also rely on assets in Crimea, occupied by Russia, to supply critical components. Despite these obstacles, the import substitution strategy remains fundamental to Russia's long-term goal of building an independent, resilient aviation industry that will withstand geopolitical pressure, ensuring future production stability and domestic market dominance for the MC-21. In essence, while import substitution has shielded the program from disruption and external pressure, it also represents a complex balance between achieving industrial sovereignty and overcoming significant technical and financial burdens in a sanctions environment. By early 2025, serial production will finally be approved, marking a turning point for the program. But the first customer with first deliveries scheduled for 2026 is underway. Certification flights are scheduled for late 2026, signaling that the jet is nearing operational readiness. Despite challenges, including early prototypes being too heavy and performance limited, continuous improvements are closing the gap with Western rivals.
Engineers are optimizing systems, reducing weight, and improving performance to meet or even exceed original targets. For Russia, it is more than just an aircraft. It is a symbol of resilience in the face of isolation, a statement that the country's aerospace industry can stand on its own. Its success could reshape Russia's role in global aviation, providing a modern competitive aircraft suitable for its domestic and allied markets and perhaps in time challenging the dominance of Boeing and Airbus in the skies. So what makes this jet so formidable that it should threaten the Boeing 377? Don't be so quick. And remember to support us by hitting the like button and subscribing to continue this journey. The MC-21 is not only a newcomer to the narrow-body jet segment, but also a bold statement of innovation that dares to challenge Boeing's long-standing dominance. While the B-737 carries decades of heritage, the airplane represents a fresh vision of what a modern airliner can be, wider, lighter, and smarter in almost every detail. First, its cabin design immediately sets it apart. With an external fuselage width of 4.06 meters and an internal cabin width of 3.81 meters, this jet is the widest aircraft in its class, significantly wider than the 737. That extra space doesn't just provide comfort. It allows airlines to accommodate wider seats and aisles making boarding easier and the journey more comfortable. In contrast, Boeing's 737 still operates within the cramped confines of a decades-old fuselage, limiting passenger comfort and layout flexibility. And while its competitors' wings are made of aluminum, this aircraft leaps forward with high aspect ratio carbon fiber composite wings that optimize laminar airflow. This design reduces drag by 5 to 7 percent, improving both speed and fuel efficiency. These wings are made using vacuum infusion technology, a world first for large wing boxes, which increases both strength and precision while reducing weight. This is an advantage that comes not from imitation, but from evolution, the kind that cannot be replicated. Moreover, the aircraft also brings modern artificial intelligence into the cockpit. The full fly-by-wire system with active side control gives the pilot tactile feedback and precise control, providing the responsiveness and safety features typically found only on advanced Airbus aircraft. Its rivals, by contrast, are constrained by an older design still relying on more traditional control linkages with limited digital support. The aircraft's power delivery, on the other hand, is a further testament to its versatility and forward thinking. Airlines can choose between Pratt & Whitney's PW1400G turbofan, one of the world's most efficient engines, or Russia's PD-14, the country's first new generation jet engine. The engine produces up to 31,000 pounds of thrust while burning 10 to 15 percent less fuel than older engines like the CFM56 with significantly lower noise and emissions fully compliant with the most stringent ICAO environmental standards. Performance-wise, the MC-21 offers better range comfort and maneuverability. With a maximum takeoff weight of 85 tons, a seating capacity of 163 to 201 passengers, and a range of 6,000 kilometers, it matches or exceeds Boeing's best narrow-body aircraft. Passengers also enjoy a lower cabin altitude, one and one 800 meters, and controlled humidity reducing fatigue on long flights, small but significant differences that make comfort strategic. Overall, this program is more than just Russia's answer to Boeing. It's a technological leap forward. The combination of advanced materials, digital flight control systems, superior aerodynamics, and modern engine performance makes it an aircraft designed not just for yesterday's skies, but for tomorrow's. In terms of orders, the MC-21 has received several significant orders by 2025, mainly from Russian airlines marking a solid position in the domestic market. The largest and most notable order comes from Aeroflot Russia's leading airline, which plans to purchase around 90 MC-21 narrowbody aircraft by the end of 2025. This order is part of Aeroflot's strategy 
to modernize and expand its fleet replacing older aircraft with the advanced MC-21, which promises improved performance comfort and reliability for passengers. In addition to Aeroflot, Russian Transport Minister Roman Starovoit has announced that Russian airlines are ready to sign contracts for a total of around 200 aircraft. These contracts demonstrate that the overall effort of the Russian aviation industry to reduce its dependence on Western aircraft, especially in the context of sanctions that are limiting access to these global suppliers. The expected value of these orders is around $18 billion, indicating a significant investment in the program. Although the aircraft is initially aimed at the domestic and regional markets, these orders lay a solid foundation for future expansion and demonstrate Russia's commitment to making the MC-21 its main narrow-body passenger aircraft. In terms of market position, Russia's main aircraft holds a unique and strategically important market position, primarily focused on serving the large domestic market of Russia and its allies, while gradually moving towards meeting broader regional needs. Originally designed to modernize Russia's aging fleet and reduce its dependence on Western aircraft, it is now positioned as a symbol of aerospace sovereignty with growing ambitions. Production targets are ambitious with plans to expand production to around 72 aircraft per year by 2029-2030. The aircraft is expected to replace aging narrow-body jets and gradually open up export opportunities, especially in Russia-friendly or emerging markets, although global expansion is facing stiff competition and geopolitical challenges. Sanctions and supply chain disruptions have pushed this program to focus heavily on full import substitution, a double-edged sword that has led to delays and increased costs while ensuring the production base is immune to Western political pressure. The cost of the aircraft has increased now around $50 million per aircraft, but the Russian state supports leasing and subsidy programs to facilitate airline purchases. In the long term, UAC plans to diversify the MC-21 variants to cover a range of capacities and missions from short-haul 132-seat models to stretched versions accommodating up to 256 passengers and ranges exceeding 12,000 kilometers, positioning it as a versatile competitor to Boeing's 737 and Airbus's A320. In the global market, the aircraft remains a fledgling with uncertain penetration outside Russia and certain regions subject to competition from established competitors and potential sanctions. However, domestically and among allied nations, it represents a breakthrough in the Russian aerospace industry combining technological advances with geopolitical strategy to create a formidable position in the single-aisle aircraft market. In short, the MC-21's market position is that of an emerging competitor focused on domestic dominance and regional influence, with the potential for future international expansion as production scales up and certification milestones are achieved. Does Russia's MC-21 have a lasting place in the global single-aisle market, or will geopolitics hold it back? Share your thoughts below. This is the end of the exploration flight. Have a safe flight. Goodbye, and see you again.